Hey everybody, Dr. Nick here with another public sexual announcement for you for October the 20th, 2022. And I hope everyone out there is having a damn good day. And as you can hear from my voice, it's not back to where it needs to be yet, but I haven't put out a podcast or a PSA in almost two weeks now. So something I had to give. So I'm just going to go for it and do what I can. So today I want to talk to you about an article I came across in USA Today. And in this circumstance, this may occur to very few people or outliers, as we like to call them. But let me say this. If this is happening to you, it's the most important issue in your sex life. So the title of this article says a man is allergic to his own semen and he gets sick every time he orgasms. So in a nutshell, they're saying this guy experiences flu-like symptoms after he ejaculates and he is experiencing something called post-orgasmic illness syndrome. So let's talk about that today. To get this PSA started, this article was first published in the Journal of Urology Case Reports. And it goes as follows. There's a 27-year-old man who, who experienced coughing, runny nose, sneezing, and a hive-like rash on his forearms after he orgasmed and ejaculated. And in this case, it did not matter if he orgasmed from intercourse or masturbation. Those symptoms occurred every time, almost over a 10-year period, which in turn caused him to avoid having relationships and avoiding sexual intercourse and sexual activity pretty much all together. So in the case of this young man, he went to the doctor and he was diagnosed as having post-orgasmic illness syndrome or POIS. And they said it is slowly being recognized as another debilitating sexual dysfunction in males. The authors of the journal article said it is often misdiagnosed due to its unfamiliarity to providers, resulting resulting in numerous potentially unnecessary tests and treatments. They continue, the exact ideology of POIS is unclear. Currently, the best accepted theory is that the symptoms result from type 1 and type 4 allergic reactions to their own semen. The theory is supported by both clinical manifestation of POIS as well as the fact that 88% of men suspected to have POIS have positive skin prick tests with their own semen. So in other words, these men are allergic to their own semen. So now let's take a minute and just try to break this down just a little bit. Because according to this article, POIS has been around in the medical literature for around 20 years now or so, with only around 60 to 100 cases that have ever been reported. Me personally, I think I've heard of cases way back before this, but now it has a name, so, you know, whatever. But anyhow, let's get back to the article. So how would you know if you have POIS? Well, for starters, there are flu-like symptoms, which can include extreme fatigue, and or exhaustion, muscle weakness, fever and sweating, irritability, memory difficulties, concentration problems, blocked nose and itching eyes, beginning almost immediately after ejaculation and can last up to seven to 10 days afterwards, according to the research article. Okay, so check this out. This is still from the same article. And someone from the University of Minnesota Medical Center said, we actually had one patient that came in with no such diagnosis. And post ejaculation, he had body tremors and entered a trance-like state. He visited our lab several times and with each specimen produced, he had to remain for 10 minutes or so until his body returned to a more normal slash natural state. Now, the, my question here is, I don't hear any mention about hives or runny nose 
or any flu-like symptoms. So I'm not sure if this guy had POIS or he had a really good nut. Because real talk, shit, a really good nut will put you into a trance-like state. So to close out this PSA, I just have a couple questions. Number one, is it localized? Meaning, so let's say this guy has ejaculation and is flying all over the place and it gets on his forearms and his feet or wherever else. And so are those hives breaking out only where the semen lands? In addition to the watery eyes and the sneezing and the headaches and the hay fever or whatever else. Number two, can you just take like an over-the-counter medication, you know, like Allegra to deal with that issue? Because if it is an allergy, you can take an over-the-counter medication and it would be cool. And number three, I've heard stories in the past where women have also been allergic to their partner's semen. And this mainly comes up when they're trying to conceive and have a baby, especially in new marriages. So this idea is nothing new. It's been around for a long time, but as I said before, now it has a name. So on that note, I'm out. You guys have a great day. Stay tuned and I will talk to you soon.